Guys, um, I'm just, I know you dropped some some, some real games early. So does that make tomorrow's game more? I mean, Saturday's game more important. I mean, just uh, or is it too early? I mean, is uh, it? You know what, guys? I've thought about this a lot, and and uh, even the statement you just made, we lost some games, dropped some games early. We're sixteen and three. Right. Uh, uh, it's a long season. We're going to lose again, as everybody else in our league is going to lose again. It's it's too good a league. So you, you're going to put a, a, a must-win game in uh, late January when our goal is to be the best we can be in March. I, I, I'm not buying it. Uh, uh, I think the Chiefs are still in the uh, NFC Championship or uh, AFC Championship game this week. And I think there was a stretch where they lost three out of four or whatever it was. Uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not buying it. Uh, uh, people make way too big a deal when it's good, and people make way too big, big a deal when it's not good. And, you know, uh, we could be talking about, oh, uh, God, we beat a good team on Monday. But still, we're, to, we're going to talk about something that happened in the past that is irrelevant on how good we can be this March. So, so uh, uh, would it uh, uh, help our chances of, of staying atop the league at this point? Absolutely. But wouldn't it help our chances of winning the first game of the league too? I mean, or, or winning the 10th game of the league? I mean, every game you win the league helps your chances. So uh, if, if we're gonna put a must win situation on a group of five guys that are playing almost all the minutes over a course of three months, I think that would be pretty taxing and pretty draining and totally wear a group out. So I'm not gonna do that, but it is a big game. So what was your reaction to Floyd being McDonald's All-American and why do you think he was the latest signee you've had to earn that? Uh, I, I, I basically didn't have a reaction because we knew he would be a McDonald's All-American uh, uh, before he ever committed to us. You know, he's been ranked in the top five, you know, basically for the last couple of years and everything. So that was not a, a surprise at all. Uh, uh, happy for him, obviously a culmination of a lot of work and efforts by a lot of people uh, in, in the young man's life, especially coming over here and, and, and uh, uh, you know, uh, being taken in by Dylan and McKenna in, in, in a way that's very unique to the, 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 the normal way that kids grow up in America. Uh, uh, but I'm so proud. We're all proud of him. It's great, but it, 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 it wasn't a surprise in any way, shape, or form. You talked a lot about the minutes, some of the core guys have played. How big is having this big break between a Monday and a Saturday game for those guys? Uh, I think it's I think it's been positive, but we also, we're, we're, you guys are talking to me before we practice since we played Cincinnati. So I don't know what practice will look like today or whatnot, but I would think that we would be a little bit rested. I, I, I think that uh, uh, the guys that aren't playing as many minutes, you know, they practiced yesterday, but the other guys just, we had a film session. So, uh, and that's something that we gotta be very cautious of moving forward is, is if guys are gonna play substantial minutes like this, uh, 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 you certainly don't wanna wear them out on non-game days, so. And with Iowa State, what stands out about them to you with TJ's team? Uh, I think they're tough. I, I think they're tough. I, I think they take the personality of their coach and also their point guard. Uh, 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 I think that they uh, they guard as well and as hard and as connected as any team that will play uh, this year. Uh, uh, I'm not going to say that 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 uh, uh, positively because I, I would hope we can get to our uh, point where we're in the same conversation. But at, at, uh, to this point, we have not been. But uh, uh, you know, I, I would say that them and Houston, to me, are different uh, uh, on the defensive end, at least as far as our league goes, and and uh, they'll make it very difficult. We were lucky last year to get 53 at their place. I mean, we were lucky to get 53, so uh, 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 we know they can guard. Can you talk a little bit about the environment at Hilton Coliseum, how tough that is? Uh, it is good. It's, it's, it's without question one of the better environments, but I got to be honest with, with, with you guys. It's great. It's full. They'll be turned up. You know, when we go to K-State, it's full and it's turned up. You know, when we go to Texas, it's full and it's turned up. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of places that are full and turned up, but if I was going to rank 
uh, 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 the best basketball environments that we play in consistently. When you go to Ames, you know it's always going to be good, without question. And shifting gears a little bit, can you just talk a little bit about the t-shirt competition you're in with Charlie Hustle right now for Coaches versus Cancer? It's been something that has been weighing on my brain <laughs> uh, so much, and, 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 and I'm, I can't sleep. I'm so excited. I don't know where we are in the rankings right now. But uh, uh, no, I, you just, the first time I thought about it. So uh, uh, I don't know where we are, but hopefully we, I've actually seen the t-shirt. Uh, I personally wouldn't buy it, but, but I've actually seen the t-shirt. I mean, I wouldn't wear it, but, but I wouldn't wear any of the other three either. So, so uh, uh, but it is a good cause, you know, raising money for, for coaches versus cancer. So, and, and, and Chase and that group at Charlie have hustle. They're fantastic and their stuff is all good, but uh, I haven't thought much about the actual competition. A lot of teams, it seems, are, are when they get matched up one-on-one -on -one against Johnny in the perimeter, the guards are driving and attacking him off the dribble. Just how have you kind of advised him, I guess, in terms of handling those situations and continuing to improve defensively? Well, you know, he's going to continue to improve. He's just a young kid trying to figure it out. Uh, he'll figure out how much, he, how much space he can give. And, and, and he, he's done a lot better in a lot of situations uh, uh, since he's been here than, than, than when he first got here. So he'll figure it out. But, uh, uh, you know, they're, 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 teams will, will attempt to do that. They, they did that with uh, Jay Will, too. You know, they, they, they've uh, done that with other players. Uh, uh, we've done that with other players on other teams. Uh, uh, but but I, I do think, you know, at six foot, eight and a half, or whatever his length, when, when he just gets a little bit stronger and, and, and can learn how much he can space certain guys and things like that, I think he'd be a pretty good on-ball defender. Bill, how much is too much when it, when it comes to fan involvement? And I'm not specifically talking about last night, but just in general when fans, and I know kids and coaches need to, to ignore, but when it just becomes something that impacts the game and what, what can I didn't know it impacted the game last night and I'm not saying it did so uh, so, so uh, I'm not I'm saying not. it did yeah I'm not saying it did or didn't uh, uh, you know you know Dave uh, uh, we, we we coach a game and play a game that is a treat to do it's what we want to do more than anything else and we love playing in environments that makes it more enjoyable and harder. That's what that's what guys do. So, uh, you know, there's a point in time. You know, there was a, a few things. There was something that happened uh, uh, several years ago with one of our players uh, uh, after a family member died. You know, there's things like that. That is, no, no. But there's a lot of things like that that we think are really awful, and then our fans do the same things that their fans do. I mean, it, it, isn't this all part of it? And, and, and uh, 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 to uh, you know, be tested and and how do you block out the noise and and, and, and how do you continue to compete and be poised uh, regardless of what's going on? Uh, uh, there's been situations in my career where where the, that has certainly impacted me, uh, uh, and then I realize I need to you know get some deaf ears too. Uh, I can't you know so so. Uh, uh, but but uh, uh, from an environment standpoint, I will tell you this, the, the most hostile environments are also the best ones to play in. Uh, Iowa State's guards, uh, you know, they get the five extra possessions because they come out plus five in turnovers, just talk about their guards. And, and, and great rebounders. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that, that's the thing about them. Uh, 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 you know, this little point guard, he may be as good a rebounder as we have in our league. And 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 and, and uh, obviously those two guys together, they you know they're fast, uh, they're aggressive, uh, uh, they 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 get deflection steals, they they create extra opportunities, and and I I do think this, and, and I said this earlier, without really focusing on this one thing, but what makes Iowa State who they are, you hit it on the head, five or six or seven extra possessions. It seems like to me they play. A, a, a style that you know they're going to steal extra possessions, and, and if and if you can't match or if you don't do that, 
you know, you're starting a game, you know, down seven to nothing or whatever, uh, because they, they will play hard enough to always do that. And those guards are good. Hey, back to Henry's question about Johnny and teams attacking him or, or Grady last year. When, when you have a guy like that, do you point to, while you're waiting for it to develop and waiting for him to improve and it to come to you, do you point to one thing he does well defensively and try to play to that or have him play to that? Can you, can you do that defensively? Uh, I think so. You know, I, I, I think the biggest thing with most guys that, that, that do that are guys that do not trust their feet. Yeah. I mean, that, that, that's the thing. It, 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 no matter how you, you know, Coach Fitz is back here, but in baseball or whatever, if you got a pitcher that really doesn't trust his best pitch, how's he going to be effective? Yeah. And, and same thing defensively, you got to be able to trust your own athletic ability. And, and if you watched a couple possessions against Cincinnati, uh, 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 Johnny uh, got busted on a three because he was scared to get beat. So he gave too much space. And that's what I tell him, just trust your feet, guard the guy, you're, you're, you're good. And, and, but I do think that's part of it. I do think that's part of it. When you look at a guy and you say, okay, he's 6'4", I'm 6'9", he's a, he's a water bug, I'm not. How do I, you know, you know, uh, pressure and still yet contain. And, and uh, I think it's more time than anything else. I do. Did Furphy count as a guy that got rested or did, you know, did he <laughs> practice with the guys that? Yeah, he was one of the guys. Yeah, yeah. He was one of the guys that, that got rested. Yeah, he was. Did you watch K-State, Iowa State? I did, yeah. What was your impression? I thought it was a great defensive game. I thought both teams really hooked up. K-State can guard too. You know, they can really guard. I thought both teams hooked up. Uh, 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 it was one of those games where I didn't think either team played great offensively because the defense was so good on both ends. They were good. That, could, that game could have gone either way. And, and I mean, it's a tie game with what, five minutes left or whatever. And, and, uh, and then Iowa State made some plays down the stretch. Kansas City Chiefs, any predictions or feelings about the game? Uh, I think the Chiefs will prevail. I think they'll win. I think there's something of people saying they've had an easier path because they haven't played a road game that galvanizes a locker room and you go to a place and you're more connected than you ever have been. So I, I'll, I'll, I'll take, I'll take uh, Patrick. Walmart. Coach, obviously every team's different every single year. All teams are different, but in the middle of conference play right now, just what do you preach to your team right, right in this middle of the schedule, right? Obviously a little bit of ways from March, but what do you kind of preach in that aspect every single year in the kind of this time of the year? That there, that there's absolutely, and that's a great question, is that there's absolutely no days off. You know, the, the, the whole thing is, is we worry so much about the outcome uh, uh, more than we should be worried about the preparation and the actions that create the outcome. Uh, uh, if we do things right and guys make hard shots, that's good. If we do things poorly and guys miss open shots, we get a false sense that that's good, that's no good. And I think when you play in quality competition every game, you have to play a way that let's do it right every time. And if we do it right every time, there's going to be a lot more success than not successes. And so that's what I've been trying to tell them all, all, all along. You know, you, you don't base success on what your record is. When, you, when, when you're playing in a league this good, you base your success on, okay, I'm going to do it the right way. We got to make everybody earn it, period. And, and, and uh, if we do those things, then, you know, things will prevail over time. But still yet, guys jump up and make guarded shots sometimes. And, and uh, that, that, that's, that's what makes our sport so great. Uh, uh, you know, in any sport, you can throw a perfect pitch and you still hit it out. You can play great defense and he still makes a guarded shot. You could do a lot of things, but I know this, that if you don't guard and you're banking on them just missing, it's going to end up end up not very good, you know, over time. So that's my big deal is how do we just get a little bit better each and every day? Thanks, Coach. All right, Coach. Guys. Thanks.